Now, I'm reading the comments, and they're talking about there was no raping and murdering in South Africa when before black people got in charge. How in the hell do you think they people got South Africa? They raped and they murdered people to obtain South Africa in the first place. You know what? I hate to have to even talk about this, so I won't. But, as far as a group of people and what... A, you can put, you can say whatever you want to say and put a spin on it. If so-called, so-called white colonial imperialist imperialists have been in charge for 200 years or whatever and they put their foot on a bunch of people when you lift your foot off some people what the hell do you think they're gonna do excuse me oysters oh. what do you think they're gonna do these people in Africa haven't been taught to 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 have anything proper to the same level that would be uh, considered above poverty. A lot of these people still wash their clothes, you know, on riverbeds and shit like that. And, and you know, shit is still fucked up for a lot of people. Don't, don't get me wrong. So now that black people are in charge of South Africa, now there's rape and violence. If you was a black person and you was a black South African, and the only leader you had was Nelson Mandela and he's locked in prison and you just want self-respect and self-righteousness of course when the imperialists give over the land and the power they're not gonna give it to those who wanted peace they wanna prove their point they're gonna give it to those who do not understand which power they have so when they get the grip back they have no reason to let the grip go understand there are mind games being played on a global scale and not just in Africa and or South Africa. If you let one speck, this is the world map. The map of the world is a blank map. You make one speck and you make a big speck. You can't see it, but there's a small circle and a big circle. Now this small circle is England beaming down on the rest of the planet. You understand what I'm saying? One group of people from one tiny island has got the world in a death grip and you idiot fools are sitting back thinking oh black people in charge of South Africa that's why it's going crazy to be honest with you if you wanted to put some black people in South in charge of South Africa that wouldn't act the way they act now it would have happened Africa itself is one continent how many nations are in that continent if all of those nations we're one nation. Who would it be in control of? What are the odds of a black person or a white person being in control of all of Africa? Or an Egyptian person? Egyptian. I hate when I eat. I'd be just like, it's like just roll off wrong. But understand what I said. In South Africa, everybody needs to be treated equally. And no, no white person should give up their job just because a black person. No. If everybody had the same education since 1961, it'd be different. If they had the same education since 1801, it'd be different. But if you start educating people in 1983, and then all of a sudden you give a whole group of people a country, to see, they can't even control this here. Come on, man. People are set up to fail. And that's the way things will always be if you let yourself be guided by one little speck on the map. I was just watching something on TV. And it was like, well, the power from England, da da da. And everybody just had the England circle and this, this, and this, and everything. And this is English, and this is English, and the England, and this, and the Queen of England, and da da da, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hmm. 
You know, let England guide the world. Stand behind the curtain, United States of America. Come on, this is a joke. Human beings ought to wake up and understand this. The only kings and queens and gods and all these people who deserve to be looked up to, all those people live with inside of us. We are the people. No matter what color you are, no matter where you're from, you don't let one group of people guide the world into some little hole. If there will be a one world government, let it be one for the people, by the people, controlled by the people. And then the people in South Africa will all have an equal education. There wouldn't be no drought and famine if we used the technology we have to create a better world. We could talk about terraforming other planets and, and, and finding water on the moon and shit, but we can't talk about terraforming Earth, restoring it. Come on, please. Those who control, control everybody. You idiots out there who want to follow a race car around the world, then you fall in the same hole they want us to be in. Those people who don't give a damn about race, they know what the world cycle, the Earth cycle is. Say if every 6,000 years the earth goes into a freeze for 10 years. How many people are going to survive outside for 10 years if they turn off all the electricity? These stupid people. There's something going to happen. And the truth will be told. But until next time, if you don't understand why I'm babbling, Think of those who make the statements about black people when black people take over something. I guess since America has a black president, you can expect a bunch of black people to drive up and down the streets hooping and hollering, playing loud rap music, shaking your car when they jump by so you can lock your doors quietly as you see the little black kids with the backpacks walk from the schoolyards. Fuck this bullshit. Wake up, people. Oh, and all day today, every video, I have attempted to upload 15 different videos today. Maybe sometimes when people have something to say, those who don't want the proper words to come out their mouths tend to shut them down. If I continue to babble on like some nigger on some fucking quest for bullshit, fame, and glory, getting it nowhere but asking it from everyone who sees me, I must do it ignorantly and not as someone who has a mind and who can think of their own. I don't drink the water so the fluoride does not affect me. So please, those who believe just because you white the world is owed to you, and those who believe just because you're black and people white have stepped on you, nothing's owed to you either. If you believe in anything, believe that everybody is created equally. If I owe you, you owe me just as much. If you can't feel my pain, I can't show you unless you go through it. And if you go through it, you can't deal with it, and the world must end. It's like when the kid cries wolf, and everybody's like, hey, we, we got to stop going on our trip because he's scared of an airplane. I can't go to the movie because she's going to be scared. I can't get on the ride because he ain't tall enough. This is earth. This is life. Get over it. Grow the fuck up. Wake the fuck up and understand we got bigger problems than black and white. The queen and her majesties. The king and the lizard mans and space aliens and bullshit. We got more problems right now with individualism and human tyranny. Wake up, get that credit card out of your ass, and you've been tubed.